Hello and welcome to BioCode. In this video, we will provide an introduction to BioPython, which is a package that is utilized heavily and most uh, commonly within uh, bioinformatics analysis, molecular biological analysis, or that sort of analysis which come, which are heavily relied on computational analysis. So how do we really use, utilize BioPython? In this video, we'll cover uh, why, we, why we need BioPython at all, why we need Python at all, and why, uh, what sort of packages, what sort of advantages uh, are there for learning BioPython for us, and uh, uh, what can we accomplish uh, by learning these uh, different functionalities that are provided in BioPython. So first of all, I would like to uh, provide an introduction to uh, BioPython. BioPython is a package that is, uh, you can call it a suite as well, but in programming language, it is known as a package. Uh, BioPython is basically a package that has multiple classes, multiple modules in itself that allow you to do various different tasks on the biological data. For example, if you would like to, uh, for example, uh, these are these are just random examples and that are right of the right of my mind. But uh, you can do multiple things. But first of all, let's discuss some examples. For example, uh, let's uh, discuss that you would like to. Uh, create a, a single FASTA file from thousands of multiple se uh, individual sequence files that are within your uh, desktop folder or whatever they are present within your directory and you would like to create a single uh, file out of uh, all of these sequences. We did that in earlier videos but that was solely done, uh, done without any biological uh, without any biological package without utilizing a biological package we just utilize Python language for loop while loop and you, you might have watched that video already but in this video we will see uh, how we can uh, utilize uh, in this video we will discuss how we can utilize biopython to ac accomplish that it is just as two or three maximum uh, lines of code that can allow you to convert uh, thousands of um, fast sequence files into a single sequence file and that is very useful if you are working with huge data sets and even if you are working with 10 or 15 or 20 multi sequence files for example you do that whenever you are doing multiple sequence alignment in most uh, most tools accept a single sequence file that has multiple sequences inside of it and uh, you need a single fi f file for that so you cannot uh, uh, input provide an input of multiple files to that particular tool so in that scenario you have to convert uh, multiple files into a single file using by python or just programming in normal programming language you can obviously do that through other programming language but why why do we need to write multiple lines of code if you are, if we can do that accomplish that sort of stuff using just two or three lines of code and then we can also uh, convert, a, uh, do a protein translation, we can back transcribe it, we can transcribe it, we can uh, check the uh, unambiguity or ambiguity of, um, the pro of the sequences that we provide as input or what that we have in our uh, files, we can do that through BioPython as well, we can align multiple sequences. Uh, we can align two sequences, we can align thousands of sequences using a various needle Munchman uh, or Smith Waterman. Uh, these sort of algorithms can be utilized. Uh, they are provided in BioPython that can be utilized to do a multiple alignment. We don't need to utilize any other tool. We can just utilize BioPython and Python languages for that. And we can also uh, do uh, sequence if we uh, have alignment files from other tools and we can parse them into uh, into Python language and to do various analysis we can accomplish through BioPython as well. We can um, and then uh, do run cluster W or cluster Omega directly from Python as well. We can run blast sequence uh, blast analysis from uh, BioPython as well. We can uh, parse the blast results. We can parse uh, we can do blast directly from BioPython by just providing a sequence or just providing uh, accession number or any sort of stuff. We can do that uh, through BioPython as well. We can read PDB files. We can do PDB analysis. We can uh, do uh, 3D structure analysis through BioPython. Uh, we can do other uh, mean search or, uh, sorry, uh, motif search, domain search, or uh, protein family searches as well. We can do 
you see content analysis uh, and various other stuff can be accomplished for example if you would like to protein, do protein analysis as well, uh, as well these are all of these are basically uh, pack, uh, sub modules present within biopython package and we will obviously cover uh, videos on all of them uh, but this is since this is an introduction i will not go in uh, more further detail then we will also have program sort uh, problem sort of programs and, and that uh, of individual videos that for example how can we uh, how can we check for uh, empty sequences within a fast file how can we convert uh, design a primer using python how can we accomplish various uh, sort of stuff such as uh, parsing xml blast files parsing fast files parsing alignment files all of these will be accomplished through BioPython and uh, since uh, uh, you have gone through the uh, various other stages of learning BioPython from basics to intermediate now. So in this section from now on you will be learning uh, the advanced section of BioPython that will allow you to accomplish all of these things. And each of these modules that we have discussed earlier, each of these modules have a huge amount of details within them, each of them, and they are very useful for your biological analysis and we will provide uh, videos for each of them as we move along this series. So uh, first of all, uh, what you need to do uh, to get started with BioPython is uh, you need to install BioPython, otherwise it will not, it will not work and if, obviously if you have gone uh, uh, if you have watched the rest of the series, you, you must have installed uh, Python and you must be working with it. So you don't need to reinstall Python at all. All you need to do is uh, call in pip, which is a Python uh, package installer and uh, uh, call in pip in your CMD, call, uh, open CMD command prompt and just uh, enter pip and then install and then BioPython. Then just press enter. Same can, he, can be accomplished through terminal on Mac OS and Linux OS. And uh, since I already have um, uh, installed BioPython, I don't need to install it again. Also, uh, to, for BioPython to work, we need NumPy as well, which will be automatically installed. If you run into any issues, you can uh, just install NumPy through pip install NumPy command. So uh, make sure you have installed BioPython and then um, for, for safe side, you need to re, uh, restart your computer. I already have uh, BioPython on my computer and don't need to do that. So I'm just going to close it. So uh, I'm using VS Code Editor and we will be utilizing VS Code Editor because it is um, um, more, more compatible with the, with the, within the system OS. So it is more recommended. Um, but uh, when we are going to analyze a huge amount of data, we are obviously going to shift our analysis to PyCharm rather. So uh, just to check if our BioPython is working, I have created a directory. You can download these scripts, uh, which will be further lectures. And uh, not, we will not discuss any of them within this lecture. Uh, so you can obviously download these scripts that we are creating in the next series. And you can download these scripts. You can run them by yourself. You can manipulate them for your analysis as well. So just to check if our uh, if uh, BioPython is working, we can initiate IDLE. IDLE, which is a, a Python interpreter and uh, which is built in provided by Python. So 